And hello, folks. <coughs> this is your old pal, Uncle Al. Finally got my shirt. Like I said, my old shirt, which was large, and it was a pale blue-green. I went, <coughs> this one is an extra large, and it fits good, and I don't have problems with the shoulder when I go like this or bent over or reach something, because when I do that, I hear a ripping sound in the back. Okay, uh, let's see, wh what else? And remember, Uncle Al's 5'6 and isn't built. Just cheaper, crappier products. Okay, if you watch Nene's uh, Northern Preppers, she's in one of the areas that's going to suffer because of transportation and regulation and stupidity by you-know-who, the evil witch Gretchen. So, these are the products that are going to disappear off the shelf. Corn and corn products. That's corn oil, corn chips, cornmeal, taco shells, you name it. It's going to go bye-bye. Okay. Hamburger buns. That's number two. Bread-based products. If it takes butter, eggs, milk, yeast, flour... They're going to be gone, too. And a lot of fast food places are doing the toasty sandwich. Yeah, because they're running out of bun material. Number three, because of the stupid laws they passed, it would be better for the animals. What the hell are you talking about? Bacon used to be cheap. Now it's going to go up. And it, up and up. It's going to take at least five to ten years to get it back nor down to normal rates. Some areas, because we can't ship it out, it's going down quickly. Because you won't get it, and you're probably going to pay 15 to 20 bucks for bacon. We can't haul it out of here fast enough, so only that costs us $3.99. Or four fifty. Because we can't transport it out of here. Thanks to Pretty Boy Newsome. Uh, serious, you want us to transfer bacon in electric trucks. Are you nuts? Okay, so I won't be seeing bacon in hard to air, get to areas. And the railroad unions are like, you want us to do what with more refrigerated cars? Yeah, we want you to haul California bacon. But you find us for using diesel electrics. Oh, no, no, uh, you, we need to move this product. Okay, the Democrats are a bunch of boneheads. California is a failed communist state. Next one is pumpkin. Right now, a lot of people are not feeding their pumpkins. And the big suppliers of pumpkins... Arkansas, Texas, and stuff are suffering from a certain virus. Check for wireworms in your soil. Second thing, make sure you feed them a low nitrogen, high phosphorus and potash, and make sure you're uh, eh, getting tired. Your soil bacteria, go check out Green Wizard's book, pick it up. He's also leaving. Because of all the crap out there. Uh, number five, beer. Okay, due to the can shortage, hop shortage, yeast shortage, water so shortage, and, and big primary cause of this, a gay beer. Uh, Anheuser Busch is trying to make profits by selling their good materials, hops, water, and yeast, to other companies to keep profit in the company. That's a death spiral. So don't be invested in uh, whatchamacallit. Anheuser-Busch. They're idiots. Sure they did like Uncle Alan. Invest in Modelo. Real beer for real men. Okay. Number six. Diet. Coke or any diet products. They're uh, same thing as beer. Carbonation. Lack of cans, uh, lack of certain ingredients. Uh, you'll see regular Coke and other 
carbonated beverages, but they'll be in glass bottles, not in cans, and you're going to see smaller sizes. Uh, there's a big trouble with certain uh, shortages dealing with diet products. You do your research, find out. Number seven is sausage, same as bacon, same as hot dogs. You won't be seeing them soon. Okay, because of the pig problem and transportation problem. Okay, if you didn't get your hot dogs before the 4th of July, you'll never get them. Or sausage. Or Labor Day. There's a big run of it because, like I said, 5 to 11 years to get the pig problem solved. And transport. Okay, stop voting Democrat. They don't know anything about business or like it's ethical and we could play unicorn music and dance in the pig pens. Clobber them in the head and feed them to the pigs. Okay? Number eight, pet food. Stop making your pet food in China. Make it in America. Okay? And not with that weird vegan stuff. Number eight, pet food. Okay, biggest thing in UK, sausages and pet food. Okay, like I said, I'm doing research and it's getting a little hairy out there, folks. If you don't see your dog or cat in the UK, it might be that. What kind of flavor sausage is it? It's a very good tasting sausage. Very lean. Meow! Or woof, woof! And if you haven't seen Wolfie, ask... Hubble's cat, where in the hell he got that vegan sausage? Okay. Number nine, pasta sauce to, uh, and tomato products. <sighs> because I have friends who are tomato farmers and they're just pissed at California. <coughs> it's supposed to be a great year, but... Due to regulations and taxes and stupidity by our our state government, look at anything tomato based at a forty to fifty percent reduction. Number ten, there's only a few regions in the world that makes olive oil. California is one of them. A lot of Mediterranean states make olive oil. We're having a twofold because of uh, climate change caught not by mankind, but we know, and it's setting off that we get small year yields from the uh, olives. Also, they're more success, sex, susceptible to a certain virus. All right, came from the Mediterranean. California until this year was free of it. Unfortunately, it just came and killed 60 million plants all right number 11 strawberries there's a very few places in the world that can grow strawberries we tried it in desert but it's too dry here okay we do all sorts of weird things to grow strawberries in one of the most ungod forgiving landscape in the world and we do produce until june or july and then the 110 114 heat kills everything. Okay, kills molds, everything. It just sucks out all the moisture. So, for about another 5 to 10 years, kiss strawberries goodbye. Number 11, kiss lettuce goodbye. Because they're also moisture during a plant. And what year is this? It's El Nino. Between the supply chain issues, refrigeration Ships being docked and we can't unload this because the CCP don't want us to unload it. Okay? We lost the logistics war. I'm making money. Okay? My nephew at our, our farm, we have a contract for heavy cream. Used to be in the old days, heavy cream was like 3 to $4. 2021, it was like six dollars. 2022, twelve dollars. Guess how much they're paying for a heavy cream, real heavy cream. I have a guy from San Francisco that gets five to six gallons. 
We're selling it at $36 a quart. Okay, and he gets a couple of gallons. And he hugs that baby. Okay. Remember, it's a long trip from San Francisco to out here in the boonies. $36 a gallon. We make a lot of money. <laughs> Wait, that's $36 a quart. Sorry. I'm gone. It's getting old and tired. It's almost 4 o'clock. I need one now. Okay. Heavy cream outsells most drugs on the street. Uh, another one is a good popular seller is we add an enzyme to make lactose free milk. Only problem is we got demand for other milk, whole milk, regular milk, fat feed milk, heavy cream, cheeses, ice cream. So less milk production, less specialty milk like lactose free milk. Go drink some oat milk. Like Hubble's cat. Drink that. Plant based beverage. Oat milk. Okay. All milks come from cows. If it, they say it's oat milk. No, it's a plant, plant beverage. You don't have odors on it. And it doesn't produce oat butter either. Okay. Biggest, shortest supply, like hamburger buns, is egg noodles. Depends on what area you're at, like uh, Nene, you won't see it until 2024, June, because we can't transport it. We're keeping our eggs and our noodles, so tough luck. Those are the 15 items that is running scarce for the summer of 2023. Enjoy. And don't forget, we didn't cause this problem. You voted them in. All right, folks, you have a nice day, and I'll catch you later. You Remember, do something good. All of this is illusion, and this is part of the... It's not a movie series. Summer of 2023. And I'll catch you later. Bye now.